Dear readers welcome, always know that our messages are sent on energy streams of love and encouragement, for we are well aware of your weariness. Know that all is proceeding according to plan. The plan may not fit your idea of a high resonating spiritual plan, but know that all is as it must be in order for those still heavily entrenched in the third dimensional belief system to begin opening to higher ways of seeing. Never forget that you chose to be on earth during these times of chaos and confusion. No one is ever forced to incarnate, although some younger souls occasionally need strong encouragement. You were those spiritually prepared and strong enough to live lives of light during times of dark, while helping others through example and words. Be at peace by staying centered in each now moment. Meditate often. Frequent meditations can be just a simple, gentle resting in oneness with Source done throughout the day. These meditations need not be long, just a second or two at your desk, in the bathroom, washing dishes, etc. But frequent short meditations help to keep you centered and eventually become your state of consciousness. The shorter meditations do not eliminate the need for longer ones. Longer meditations without a lot of three-dimensional hoopla allow you to more deeply connect with self, and signal to your higher self that you are ready for more. Let your intuition guide you, but never sit for hours waiting for or expecting some three-dimensional concept to appear, for this simply puts you in a mental state rather than the alert awareness of true spiritual meditation. Know that when meditation is entered into with the pure intention of more deeply connecting with Source, rather than the seeking of some perceived outcome, something always happens, but often on levels that you are as of yet unable to access. Meditation, which is your alignment with Source, always bears fruit and will manifest outwardly in some way when least expected. Don't look for, or expect effects of some kind during or after meditation for they simply represent three-dimensional concepts about meditation. Yes, there may be experiences, but allow them, don't create them. Always remember that you are not just a physical body with a consciousness. You are individual infinite divine consciousness with a light body. In the density of third-dimensional energy, this real and permanent light body remains present. The material physical body is a mind-formed interpretation of the light body formed from, and reflective of consciousness, mind interpreting consciousness as the outer. What do I hold in my consciousness? Much that is being presented through media sources is not wholly accurate. It is colored and given in bits and pieces designed to add drama to world events. Living as a spiritually centered observer helps avoid getting caught up in and aligning with the lower resonating energy of the dramas. Always allow your intuition to guide you, and step back if you find yourself becoming emotionally caught up in some event or piece of news. Let the negative emotions that may arise flow through and out without claiming them as being personally yours. This is being in the world, but not of it. As you learn to trust and rely on your intuition, your inner guidance, it becomes easier to quickly ascertain when something is being made up in order to manipulate others into thinking or believing in a certain way versus being the truth about it. Most of you are already receiving intuitive information about all sorts of ordinary things, but continue to doubt and compare it to what others may think. The more you trust and rely on your intuition, the stronger and more accurate it gets. Many are going to be exposed for what they really represent. At first you will be shocked, but then will become more open to change regarding many commonly accepted beliefs and actions. Stand aside and allow the process because you are those aware that something much bigger than the general public understands is taking place. Never allow the outer scene to drag you back into a sense of separation from Source and others. Fear is no longer a facet of your consciousness because you have evolved beyond the need for it, but will be occasionally tempted to invite it back in. When the temptation to give power to fear or other negative emotions arises, don't resist but simply pause and silently remind yourself, I am. These two words carry powerful high-dimensional energy that will recenter you when and if embraced spiritually. 
the energy of the three-dimensional world is rapidly changing and manifesting outwardly as chaos. When high resonating frequencies of light pour onto low resonating ones, the result is the stirring up of everything in and of a lower resonance. Higher resonating frequencies dissolve the lower resonating ones, and this is taking place now in the world where many do not want anything to be dissolved. Those who do not understand what is spiritually taking place believe that everything must return to exactly the way it was, but this will be impossible, because the energy that maintained and sustained many three-dimensional creations in their present form no longer exists. This is why we continually advise that you allow the process. Trust that everything is unfolding according to plan. The world has entered an evolutionary shift and attempts to stop it will be futile. In order to live from a level of spiritual trust, a person must first fully embrace and accept that divine consciousness is the reality of their being. In spite of what you have been taught, the reality is that you are not and never have been a fragile human being in need of constant protection from every good and bad belief floating around in three-dimensional collective consciousness. It is time to actually and without conditions excuses, doubts, fears, false humility, or appearances, accept your Christhood. In order to do this, you must be willing to let go of the beliefs and practices that helped you at an earlier time, but which you have since outgrown. Nothing can make you more spiritual than you already are and always have been. Can you accept this and trust that your divine self knows how to live itself as you without your help? Or is the prospect of moving on without familiar metaphysical and religious tools and practices just too scary? There is absolutely no judgment in these words, for we are fully aware that not all are ready for this leap, but those who want to ascend into the higher dimensional frequencies that are becoming available at this time must decide which side of the fence they want to be on. Low resonating energy cannot come with a person into the higher frequencies which is the reason clearings of old energy from cellular memory, consciousness, and energy fields have been taking place. For those seeking true spiritual realization, it is no longer possible to live with one foot in the three-dimensional world and the other in truth. Clinging to outgrown spiritual practices meant to bring a person closer to God after once realizing that you have never been separate from God, creates a deeper sense of separation than before. There is nothing wrong with these practices in and of themselves. They served you well in the past, and continue to assist many out of their long-held concepts about God as being an unapproachable man in the sky. However, most of you have been there, done that. Some who are very spiritually evolved and ready for their next step, continue holding to practices, rites and rituals that they have long outgrown in the belief that these things take them deeper and will push them further along the road to realization. No dear ones, at some point you must accept that you already are everything you have sought through these practices. When enough old energy has cleared and spiritual readiness is determined by the higher self, not you personally, realization happens. Acceptance of this dissolves the driving need to do, do do, allowing one to simply be. Life becomes much easier when the responsibilities and work of saving yourself is given over to divine consciousness. You no longer worry about saying or thinking the right or wrong thing, or doing something not considered spiritual, because you now realize that everything is already spiritual. The intention you underlying every action is what causes it to resonate with a lower or higher frequency. You have lived many lifetimes unaware that you were powerful beings, creators, embodying all the qualities of Source, but you know it now and must at some point actually accept it. Most of you studied in the mystery schools and may still carry the energy of tools you learned and fully embraced while there. All of you at some time or another took vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience during one or several lives lived in convents ashrams, or monasteries. Until cleared, the powerful energy of a vow taken sincerely and with an open heart will continue to function and manifest as life experiences. Example, 
There are some who experience financial lack their entire lives regardless of education, practices, right actions, etc. For them, it may very well be that a vow or several vows of poverty are still very much alive and well in their cellular memory. When issues of lack consistently manifest, reassess your beliefs regarding lack and limitation, recognizing that lack has no law to support it because God, your true self, is self-sustained and self-maintained. Lack perfectly manifests the belief in separation. It is a good idea for every person to sit quietly with no distractions and consciously state their intention to once and for all completely clear any remaining energy from vows, promises, and or attachment to another from this and all other lifetimes. Use whatever words you want to, because it is intention that is important rather than words. You need only do this once. Making it an ongoing practice simply gives these old energies new life by endowing them once again with power. You have reached a place where you must accept that there is nothing you need to do in order to be spiritual. Most of the time you won't even feel spiritual, so don't look for that as a measure. Feeling spiritual is a myth perpetuated through organized religions, movies, TV shows, and holy cards. Spirituality is simply the ability through spiritual growth and evolution to meet every experience with love. It is going to work, raking leaves, buying and selling, cooking, taking care of someone, etc. From a consciousness that knows and trusts that your higher self knows where you need to be, when, and how to get you there. With so very much love, we are the Arcturian group.